Hold on to your britches. Blind TC, never gonna give you up. These are just so fun. Hello everyone, welcome here, I'm Lydia. Today we've got another sewing marathon. I'm hoping to get five garments done in a day. If not, we'll bring the party into the next day. It is 10.30 and I'm ready to go. Okay, let's get started. I have five garments cut out. I have two sergers set up and this one, which I just got recently. And then I have my usual Singer Quantum. Okay, first up, we have got what you may be familiar with as my birthday dress. I'm calling it the confetti frock and I do want to release this pattern to you guys. So I'm gonna start with the front darts. I hope I marked them. Ooh, I'm gonna use my special snips for the first time. Okay, I'm already excited. Um, hello, it's coming together. This little mat is so amazing. Love. It's little tips like these that just level up your sewing, you know? Front is done. Let's do the bus cups, y'all. Okay, right sides together, sew off the top and around to the notch. Is there even a notch? Did I sew in the notch? <laughs> Whenever I'm adding a notch, it's these babies that do the trick. Whenever I have to trim, I get my eight inch LVH scissors out and I just trim away, baby. Time to iron. Are you getting the picture? Hopefully not this <laughs> revealing. Actually, I forgot I have a little package that I got in the mail from LDH Scissors. So they sent me one piece thread snips. Oh my gosh. It says my name on it. How wonderful is that? These ones feel really sturdy. I mean, I expect no less from LDH. They do everything like gorgeous. They also say my name on it. Look how cute that is. These must be little snips. Oh my God. These are just so luxurious. They look like they might be kind of flimsy, but no. LDH scissors gives you sturdy. So I could not be happier that this video is sponsored by LDH scissors. They are my jam. Ever since they gifted me three different pairs of scissors last year, I've been using them nonstop. They're my go-to scissors. Like, I don't even look at the other scissors anymore unless I'm cutting something that I'm worried will damage the scissors. I love that these scissors are designed by a small company here in Toronto, Canada. Originally, they gifted me with the basics, a pair of snips, a rotary blade, and an eight inch pair of fabric shears. After using these, I was like, okay, um, let me get some more blades for my rotary blade and uh, let me get a 10 inch pair of scissors just for the thicker fabrics um, because I was sold. So now I just feel so accomplished that I have a large collection of LDH scissors because they're the best. <laughs> Definitely check them out, I have a link below. Thank you LDH scissors, you guys are amazing. I love you, I love your products and it's just making sewing a breeze. <laughs> Pepper wants to say hi. Actually, she's trying to get away. Hey! The way she loves me. <laughs> okay, it's all pinned up and ready to sew. Gotta hydrate, 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 yeah. Hydrate, 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 yeah. Hydrate, 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 yeah. How do we like it? Once I get the sleeves in and like sew the bag and everything, it's gonna look so much better. I'm just so impatient. I always wanna see what it looks like. That's what gives you the courage to forge ahead, okay? Okay, so we are moving on to the back. Matching up the notches. Notches are so important, never skip them. I'm gonna surge up these seams here. This is kind of Christmassy, like the reddish, the green. Ooh! 
Top stitching just ensures that you keep the integrity of the shape of your garment and those pressed seams don't get unpressed, basically. And now it's ready to sew. Kind of wonkily sewn, but otherwise good. <laughs> Lunch time! Front side of the sleeve in here. I'm satiated! I'm really taking my sweet old time, aren't I? So yeah, still sewing in the sleeves here. <sighs> Judging by the time, I'll do my two easiest necks, and then tomorrow I'll finish my trousers and the half zip sweater. I think that's a good plan. Okay, I can give you a little bit of a picture now. Hold on to your purchase. You guys are seeing this come together and it's pretty awesome. Ready to sew. I have to do the other one now though. Um, obviously I got some entertainment. What time is it? 4.11. I'm definitely behind. I need to pick up the pace. It's ready for the zipper. Okay, you can't really see the shape, but it is shaping up. Sew up the sides. Sew up the zipper. Coming together! Okay, I have been working hard, but working slowly. It's like, what? It's 521. I'm still not done this dress. Hey guys, it's the next day. I'm sorry to say. I don't know, yesterday was just a bit of a flop. All that to say, I did not finish the dress yesterday, and I did not finish the five garments. Or three, like I had said. But today, we're gonna do that. Whenever you're top stitching, you really gotta get your face right in there, you know? Gotta see what's happening. Gotta look at it. First of all, do I like my earrings? Okay, it's time to put the zipper in. Wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, something is wrong with this zipper because I did sew it perfectly. It's right in the ditch there, like exactly where it's supposed to be. And the zipper won't zip up and it's like splitting. I'm gonna have to use a black zipper. Zip it up and then try it on. Okay, it's sleeves and then hem. Let's finish this. Should have done this before. Classic mistake. Okay, the hem is done, the sleeves just need the elastic in them, and then I'll close up the gap that I fed the elastic through. All right, it's done. It is 1.54, started at 11.30 or so, 12. So that's, I made some pretty good time finishing this. Okay, next we have the diner pant in this lovely fabric, lovely copper, the diner trouser, is an elastic back pant that I'm hoping to release as a pattern for you guys. It has a sewn pin stripe kind of pleat. Not pleat, it's not a pleat, it's like, a, I don't know. You'll just have to see. <laughs> you know how trousers have a crease? Well, this is a sewn crease. Okay, the pocket is on. We got the understitch right here. Okay, fly front time. <laughs> and the fly is done. So the next things I have to do are the side seams and the hem and then the waistband. The waistband's like the big thing. <laughs> it's 
stretchy fabric like this, it's really important to match notches and pin. I'm eating, I'm watching something, but I'm still like reaching for stuff to work on. But right now I just need sustenance. I don't necessarily need a break. Oh my gosh, I've been sewing without the bobbin! It's the worst when you take out all the pins too and you just spent like so much time pinning it. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you. Like, look how cute these are. Like, what? Now it's time to do the inseam. Okay, um, how beautiful are these? It is 601. I feel like I'm making good time, even though I'm only on my second garment. have to stitch in the ditch, feed through the elastic, and then um, secure the elastic with a zigzag, and then I'm done these pants. Oh! I'm gonna use bright blue thread to baste. Hello! I'm stitching in the ditch and then catching it on the back. Okay, my elastic. Yeah. Uh-oh. So bad. Well, that's a hack. Perfection. That might be the best, one of the best waistbands I've made, at least lately. When you see these on me, styled, you're gonna be like, what? So I'm gonna use my brother 1034D because I put it on a baby rolled hem stitch and I'm gonna do like a lettuce hem on the sleeves and the hem. This is a new pattern. I'm calling it the swirl, wait, swish frock? It should be swirl frock. Cause you can swirl in else. It's gonna have like buttons that attach here. So I think I have to sew that with an elastic and then I have to put like little loops and buttonholes in it. <laughs> this is the whole front piece. So I did that. These need to overlap. I finished the sleeve, just sewed it together, and then I'm attaching it to the armhole now. I don't really know about this. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do the peekaboo on the final. I think maybe I'll just do like a cool seam. Um, I don't think I'm gonna add this detail in the final. I think I might just leave it plain. Good morning! It is Monday morning and I'm feeling good. <laughs> um, okay, so we have two knits to sew today. One of them is a half zip, so we're gonna be putting a zipper in stretchy fabric. So I'm gonna show you how that's done, y'all. Um, and then I have a super easy, my super, super easy mitten frock, previously known as the January dress. I just didn't wanna have a month name on it. I need to cut um, a lining for this. So what am I getting out, y'all? My LDH scissors. And this is just the most wonderful thing. Like, look at that. The zipper is gonna go right in here. This is gonna save me a ton of headache if I just sew the hem right sides together, turn it out, and it'll just gonna look gorgeous. Okay, this is the back. This is the front. It's gonna go right sides together. My serger that's set up for a regular serging stitch has the red thread on it. 
for this project. So I'm actually gonna stop and do this one first. I'm thinking smart. <laughs> The mitten frock is incredibly easy. There are only one, two, three, four pieces, and it's just like a couple of seams and then the hems and then you're done, so. I need to use these alligator clips. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so cozy. And I'm just gonna sew this. These are just so fun. It is 1257. I could probably take it up in the arms quite a bit. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Like, I am loving this. You'll have to see it later when I'm done everything. The mitten frock is officially done. That's four garments done. One more to go. To be honest, I just spent like an hour, like a half hour trying on that dress and like styling it with different things. I love it so much. It looks really cute belted, okay? Anyway. Let's sew. I'm sewing four layers together here. Area. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. I'm sewing them right side and wrong side together. the needle and I had my foot on the pedal and this machine is on like how dumb can you do it get so I basted it in very messily but accurately and then this is the inside it's gonna cover the zipper so that it's not scratchy on me oh oh no I think I got it through all layers oops I only wanted to sew on this side, so I have to take that out. This is the magic of basting. Once I take these stitches out, the basting stitches are still there, so everything's still in place. It looks so professional. like a cozy sweater. Really like long sleeves, goodness. I got my half zip on. Gonna walk some trails. Perfect timing. Um, yeah, that was, I think that was my most funnest sewing marathon of all. I just took my time. I figured stuff out. I sewed some garments that weren't as familiar as usual like this one and I had fun. Before I show you all of these amazing garments, I just wanna thank LDH Scissors for sponsoring this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, like this video, drop a comment down below and subscribe. I love this dress. I would have gone for a bit of a longer length on this, but other than that, I pretty much love it. I think the back I want higher, just because it'll feel less like open. Oh, super comfy, super flowy and lovely. Anyway, stay tuned for the confetti bra. Okay, this one is super cozy, super plush. Also because it's lined, but I love this one. This is a zip. Yeah, let me know if you guys want this pattern because it's really, it's quite simple except for this part. I need to work on the order of operation for this because it can be pretty simple and easy and straightforward, but I just didn't do it in a simple and easy way. Okay, next, my favorite. 
Diner Pant. Business in the front, party and comfort in the back. Super relaxed, super comfy, but also like really polished looking. I'm only wearing Lydia and Naomi head to toe. Okay, this is my personal favorite. We've got the lettuce hem on the funnel neck, on the sleeves, and on the hem as well. Can't really see that well. <laughs> uh, get your mitten frog. This is the detail that I was talking about, but it doesn't really work. I'm loving the lettuce hem. Like, it's so, so gorgeous. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. That's a wrap. Let me know what you think of these dresses in the comments. Which one do you want first? Which pattern do you want first? See you guys next time. Bye.